It did seem as if we were going to get Roman Gonzalez, Chocolatito, against Juan Francisco Estrada too. The WBC has now stipulated that Estrada has to defend his belt against Trisiket Saw Rungrisai, the TIE fighter, in a rubber match. This is a fight that needed to happen, so the WBC has actually done something right here. They are one and one in their series. And it was Rungvisai who initially gave Estrada a shot. He beat him narrowly in the first fight. And then in the rematch, he made one of the silliest tactical errors in recent memory, when the natural Southpaw slugger decided to fight Orthodox for the majority of the fight. Why? I don't know. Was it the corner's idea? Did he have a moment of madness? I do not know. But it made it a lot easier for Gaio Estrada to outbox him for the majority of the fight. Rung Versailles, I think, switched Southpaw back to Southpaw in the last two rounds and had more success. Now, if he sticks to what he knows in the third fight, he could very well win and replicate what he did in the first fight. Or even better, who knows? He might be the fresher of all these guys. He really does seem to be made of stone, the Thai fighter. But if he were to win, I don't think there'll be a fourth fight. Three is the magic number. That means he would probably have a third fight with Chocolatito Roman Gonzalez. Now, some people would be thinking, why are you fighting him again? You've already beaten him twice. Rung Versailles, of course, was the guy who knocked Roman Gonzalez off his pound for pound perch and then he blasted him in a rematch in a fashion where you're just not sure if you're ever going to see that fighter again. He blasted him. I thought in that rematch that Chocolatito took demons into the ring with him from the first fight. He was worried about clashes of heads. He just did not look right during the introductions. He didn't look like he wanted to be there. By comparison, Rung Versai was bouncing on the spot. He was loving it. It's like, I'm going to kill this little Nicaraguan. Um, that's almost what happened. He just did a number on him. It would still be a great fight, but a lot of people would be thinking that is a tough Styles matchup, of course, because Chocolatito likes to come forward. And that gives Rung Versai, the power puncher, a lot of opportunities. If Estrada wins the third fight, then we're going to get Chocolatito, Gallo Estrada too. We're gonna, Chocolatito is going to take part in this either way because he is WBA champ. So there's going to be unifications in his future either way. I'm thinking in the back of his mind, he would prefer to fight Estrada again, knowing how his rematch happened with Rung Versailles. And maybe I want that fight a little bit more because the fans want to see it. We've been waiting eight years for that. Nicaragua. Mexico, it's a great rivalry. Uh, we'll see. But either way, all of these fights are excellent. This is a 115 pounds super flyweight. It might have been the best and still is the best division in boxing for the last four years. And Naoya Inoue, the Japanese fighter, was a part of this division uh, not that long ago. That's when it was just ridiculous with talent. There's still Yerwin Ankahas, Filipino IBF champ, who hasn't fought any of the other three guys, hasn't fought Quadras. I really want to see him get in the mix and see how he'll do against these other guys. He's been kind of sidelined for whatever reasons uh, with, with the other top guys. So I want to see him get involved. But we'll have to see first how this third fight goes between Estrada and Rung Versailles. They're doing purse bids. It will probably get made for March, maybe. Lockdown impending next year and I expect nothing less than an excellent fight and that really is the great treat with 115 pounds is that regardless of what fights you make there's so many quality fighters that you can't really make a bad one